Everyone online is saying that GABA helps with sleep, relaxation, yada, 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 but I've been taking it for 30 days and, well, I'll tell you about my experience. Hey YouTube, welcome back to another video. Today, we're talking about another supplement and that's GABA. So it's an oral supplement that you can get at your drugstore or health food store, and I've been taking it for about 30 days now. I know that's not a big sample size, but I'm gonna continue to take it. However, currently not really feeling much, but I wanna explain what GABA is, why maybe potentially you should take it, and my experience with it thus far. So let's get into it. Okay, so you might be asking, what the heck is GABA? Uh, I never heard of GABA until about a month or two ago, but GABA stands for gamma aminobutyric acid, and it's a neurotransmitter that we all have in our body. You can think of it as your body's brake pedal, whereas other chemicals like adrenaline and dopamine rev you up, gamma aminobutyric acid is supposed to slow you down. So it plays a key role in the calming the nervous system. Um, it's supposed to promote relaxation, improve sleep, and reduce anxiety. There are actually two main types of GABA receptors in the body. There's GABA A, and then there's GABA B. GABA A is the fast acting one. It's what benzodiazepines and alcohol bind to in the body. Whereas GABA B is or acts much slower, it's more subtle, it's kind of like a dimmer switch rather than a light switch in your body. So fun fact, GABA B isn't just a player in the human body. Some studies show that GABA B signaling plays a role in plants as well. So it helps them respond to stress and regulate growth. So that spinach that you're eating actually contains GABA B and you probably had no idea. So pretty wild, right? Okay, here's the thing. After reading a number of articles, I wanted to find the answer to my question, which was, if I take this supplement orally, is my body actually going to digest it properly and make it bioavailable enough that it crosses the blood-brain barrier and I can actually feel that onset calmness, relaxation, and ultimately fall asleep, which that was what I was hoping it would do. Well, sorry to, you know, burst your bubble, but there wasn't a reliable source online that said it definitively could produce more GABA in your body and your body can synthesize it properly. So even if you're taking it, there's really no guarantee it's actually going to the right place. Thus, meaning who knows if it's actually going to calm your mind or reduce anxiety. Okay, like I was saying before, I've been taking this for 30 days now, morning and night, so twice a day. And my intentions were to help with anxiety, uh, promote sleep, and just have overall chill vibes. That's what people were saying online. Oh, take GABA, it'll help you relax, unwind. And I can see why it could do that because GABA in the body is meant to do that. But orally as a supplement, I'm not sure if it's doing what it's intended to do. I've been taking it alone, not with my other supplements, and even then I don't really feel the effects of GABA and that sleep, onset sleep tiredness that I, that I really want. So that's my experience. Everyone reacts differently, but again, I need to give it a longer runway and see if it works, but right now, no benefits so far. So what's really interesting is that the bottle says verbatim, clinically proven to promote relaxation. Now, maybe that's based on one or two studies. I don't know, but I'm gonna do some more research to see if that is credible. Um, who funded the research? Was it a huge trial or was it 15 stressed out college kids before midterms? I don't know the answer to that question, but I will find out and I'll report back on that to see one, am I going to eventually experience the benefits of GABA? And two, was the research really correct about what they claim it to be? So as of today, I'm gonna to say that GABA is overhyped. There are way better ways, in my opinion, to promote relaxation and sleep. Anecdotally, uh, magnesium glycinate definitely helps me get tired more quickly at night when I take it. Chamomile tea promotes relaxation and I really do think it works. Um, there's cold exposure, there's breath work. There's a number of other ways that you can, again, promote relaxation and sleep without taking GABA. So I would try those over GABA any day of the week. Okay, so this is the end of the video. Thank you all for watching. This is Strong Wellness, where we review, experiment, and try new things in the health and wellness world. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.